Last year, about six months ago, I extended my garden to plant many fruit trees. Now the garden is about the double of the size as before and I think I planted about 30 fruit trees. Okay, so this year is where we started first to plant the fruit trees. It was the first area that we cleared from all the creepers and thorns and yeah, so I just started by planting some fruit trees here and I'm sure I made some mistakes because I planted them too close but by now I transplanted some of the trees and some I will just leave and the stronger ones they will survive. The most important thing actually when you start a garden is even before you start the garden is to start a nursery. Um, it took me quite a while to collect all the fruit trees. Some I got from cuttings from friends' places, some seedlings from other farms, some I got from nursery and then others from seeds that I planted myself. But I think, yeah, before you even start the garden, you can start the nursery, which is a beautiful thing. And it's the most important thing to have already planted plant into the garden and if they are bigger it will go faster and these are some of the fruit trees that I planted into the garden now here I got a small lychee tree so back here I have some ramphal tree I planted some sugar cane. So here behind me and up there is my vegetable garden and here the old pineapples, that's the old border of the garden and yeah it needs some weeding here definitely because they are they're getting overgrown by these creepers but And everything started about six months ago when I started with the help of a friend to clear this whole area of the garden. It was completely filled with thorns, thorny bushes and many creeper plants. So we cleared the whole space and started to plant all the fruit trees that I had collected from many places. And then before the monsoon rain was coming, I decided to plant a lot of sweet potatoes as a ground cover because I wanted to make sure that the soil will stay in place and not all the fruit trees will be flushed down because it's quite steep, this area. And the monsoon can bring heavy rains. And this is how it looked after the monsoon. The whole area was covered with sweet potatoes and I ended up to have piles and piles of sweet potato greens in the garden and I'm really happy I can never have enough organic matter. And it was perfect because in the upper part of my garden I had just started to dig trenches and make the raised beds for the vegetables. So this was very welcome material to place into all the trenches and it will be compost later on. And now that I had planted the fruit trees, I also already planted some watermelons all around. But I realized soon that this is probably not enough and the watermelons will not cover all the ground. It's pretty early morning. And this 
part where there were these sweet potatoes overgrowing, I started to plant watermelons a couple of weeks ago. And now this morning I thought I'm just going to plant some tomatoes in between and some things in between because there is nothing and the soil has to be somehow energized with some planting. But then I ended up digging trenches because somehow it just makes no sense to put a lot of compost in this open field, start planting and doing nothing to the soil. But it's a lot. I'm really a little bit overwhelmed by the size of it. After filling the trenches with all the organic matter, I started to plant many different things and many seeds went into this area. And after only two and a half months, the place transformed itself from this into this abundance. Now there's really something about the soil here that is so good because I got this very strong okra plant and the corn behind me is getting huge and it's so strong. I don't have corn like this in the other part of the garden. And the okra, they're also huge. They, they taste delicious. Just as a snack. And there's plenty of things just here growing around me. There's the young corn, some okra, a watermelon, the purslane, a chico tree, the manatakali berries, the corn, which is huge, tomatoes just next to it, some basil, some small okra plants. There is more basil, spring onions, huge chilies. Yeah all in a small spot together with the sweet potato and some papaya is coming up there just all around me in one square meter